Premiere Pro is the worst software in the world. No one should be using it. But on the other hand, so this has been in conversation for quite a while now and there are many YouTubers that have already made videos about switching from Premiere Pro to other softwares. So that is the breakdown that we are going to do today. We will talk about some facts about Premiere Pro and is Premiere Pro worthy enough? So I'll do my intro just like Chris How does the ASMR style. So I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. My name is Bhavik and today we are going to be looking at is Premiere Pro worthy enough? So I hope that you will stick around till the end. And now let's jump straight into the video. So we were just talking about the videos that people are switching from Premiere Pro to other softwares. Well, they have significant reasons for the same. Number one would be its stability. It is a very unstable software. There is a high possibility that Premiere Pro works flawlessly for 20 days in a row and the next day it would lag like every 30 seconds. It would crash for absolutely no reason and your entire day's work would go to vain. You need a really high-end system if you want to run Premiere Pro smoothly and there is a high possibility that even after getting the high-end system, Premiere Pro will still crash. Well, if someone does not switch from Premiere Pro for stability purposes, they will definitely switch because it is very expensive. When you compare Premiere Pro with its rivals, it is much more expensive in the long run. Well, if these two reasons are not enough, there is another reason that Premiere Pro is not a very easy software to learn. There is definitely a learning curve if you do not have a mentor or a teacher with you. So yeah, that could be another reason. Well, with whatever I just said, it seems like Premiere Pro is the worst software in the world. No one should be using it. But on the other hand, I myself use it. I recommend people to use it. It is widely used in the video production world. It is used on Hollywood movies. It is used in TV series and every other YouTuber that you know is using Premiere Pro. So if there are these many downfalls to a software, why are so many people and companies using that? Well, it is a highly professional software. You cannot take away from the fact that the set of tools that Premiere Pro offers it's absolutely incredible. I've never seen a filmmaker or a video editor complain about some tool that he wanted and he did not find inside of Premiere Pro. Well, if they do not find the tool that they are looking for, they use the dynamic link feature. For example, you can literally open a Photoshop file directly inside of Premiere Pro. How cool is that? You could also edit a clip from the Premiere timeline directly inside of After Effects, do the changes over there, come back to the Premiere timeline and continue working. The same can be done for audio using Adobe Audition. This is one of the main features why I have still stick to Premiere Pro even after so many crashes and lag because this feature is so cool that it is unmatched. There are a few softwares like DaVinci Resolve that offers this kind of workflow like there is some VFX part to DaVinci as well but it comes nowhere close to Premiere Pro. Another reason for sticking to Premiere Pro is that it is a market standard software. A few years ago when I was trying to find an internship or a job in a video editing role in some company, 99% of the openings that I saw were demanding Premiere Pro as the first skill that a person should know before applying. Well, these two reasons are supported by the fact that the amount of resources and tutorials available online for Premiere Pro, it is absolutely ridiculous. Well, you could argue that every other software has tutorials and resources as well, but when it comes to availability and the amount, Premiere Pro beats them all. So that was pretty much it from this video. I hope that you enjoyed this. I made this video because this was in conversation for quite a while now. And if you enjoy filmmaking related content, I hope that you subscribe to my channel. If you have watched the video till here, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.